I'm Max Amana, I'm a low waste chef, bringing you easy, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> We make it crap. Hey, I'm Max Amana. I'm a low-waste chef. Today I'm on the Waitress channel. I'm gonna show you all sorts of tips and tricks for reducing bread waste. Bringing you simple, delicious, easy recipes that save you money and fight food waste. Like pea pesto baguette pizzas and linguine with a crisp lemon and herb crumb. Food that's too good to waste. Let's start cooking. Today we're making pea pesto baguette Pizzas. Say that 10 times fast. Baguette, pizza, thingamajobs. Thingamaj pea pesto, baguette, pizzas. Pea pesto, baguette, pizzas. You probably have leftover loaf of bread hanging around. Maybe it's a baguette. Maybe it's a ciabatta roll. Whatever it might be, this is a simple and easy recipe using ingredients you probably have laying around in your fridge or in your cupboard right now. So the first thing we're gonna do before we get into the bread is to make our pesto. This isn't your traditional pesto. We're not using any nuts. Actually, I think pine nuts is seed. So we're not using any seeds. I've cooked and blanched some peas here, and those are gonna go right into our food processor. And if you don't have Peas, you can use edamame beans. Maybe you use some nuts, maybe you use some seeds. I like using peas and they're in season. Next thing we need to do is add some basil. There's no time wasted in this recipe. You don't need to pull the leaves apart. We're using the whole thing, so I'm just gonna go tear them in half, use the stems. Here's a little fun fact. Did you know that you can regrow basil just using this right here? If you place this in water and change the water every few days, and then when the roots appear, then you can plant this in soil and you can regrow basil over and 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 over again. If you're not gonna regrow your basil, chuck them into this pesto. Now I also have some other herbs here. I have some chives. Now this isn't your traditional pesto, but we're gonna have some fun here. Chives is gonna add another level of flavor. Get some parsley as well. Next, nutritional yeast. It's deactivated yeast loaded with B12 and it gives off this lovely cheesy flavor. It's a vegan alternative for cheese. Next, we're gonna use some olive oil. Just a bit for now to help it blend all together. Garlic, here's a neat little trick. Do we have a jar? Jar! Place your garlic in the jar, abracadabra. The peels now should come right off with ease. It's true. Or you go like that, right? You just smash it and then take the peel off. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. The whole recipe is down in the link in the description. So our garlic is going in. A pinch of salt, a generous pinch of salt. Some black pepper. Now, get this party started. We'll watch it blend all together and we might stream some olive oil in there to get everything nice and moving around. Here we go. And then you stop it, you scrape down the sides. Look at that, look at that vibrant color. I'm gonna blend a little bit more. If you like it chunky, keep it chunky. If you like it smooth, keep blending. I like that consistency. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mmm, I have the garlic peels here. This is perfect to collect. So when you feel like making a veg stock, use those garlic scraps, use the onion scraps, use the scraps of your carrots. So anything that you're throwing away can go into a veg stock. Time for bread. Did you know in the UK, 20 million slices of bread are thrown away every single day? And it's the second most wasted food ingredient in the UK, just behind potatoes. What else can I say about bread? Mm, I love it, it's close and dear to my heart. Cut our French baguette in half. If you don't have a baguette at home, you can use any type of bread you have. Bread onto a baking tray. Now we're gonna add this lovely green pesto. This isn't your average pizza. Just throw everything together, whack it in the oven. Dinner or lunch is on the table in just seconds. And a great way to use up any leftovers you have. I'm going quite heavy with the pesto. The beauty of this recipe is that you can use as little or as much of this pesto as you want. If you have leftover pesto, you might want to add it to a jar and then just drizzle a small amount of olive oil at the top to seal it to keep it fresh. Seal the lid, keep it in your fridge. Next, cherry tomatoes. We're just gonna slice them in half. 
We want to show the inside of these beauties. Cherry tomatoes on top of the pesto. And gently press them into the pesto and have fun with the design. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you don't have tomatoes, you can use any leftover veg that you have in the fridge. These are going to my compost bin. So the next thing is that we get our cheese. We get our cheese on. Rosso Ciano Parmesan cheese. It's a vegan alternative. I'm obviously plant-based, but you can use any type of cheese you'd like. It's Christmas. Look at that. In the fridge, we have some mozzarella cheese. I'm using a vegan type today, and this is gonna make it nice, cheesy, ooey, a little bit stretchy. If it falls off, that's, that's fine with me. Just add a little bit of olive oil, and if you have leftover tomatoes, you can throw those on top as well. I don't, because I used them all. This goes in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius until the cheese is nice, gooey, crispy, and the bread is nicely golden brown. Look at that, goldy, goldy crispy golden brown crust. The tomatoes have lightly bursted. The cheese has melted. So let's add a little bit more olive oil on top. Some red chili flakes just on top. A little bit of heat. If you weren't here, I'd drizzle this with sriracha or some hot sauce. A little bit more Parmesan cheese. Make it rain. And then some fresh oregano or oregano if you're in the UK. My herbs stay fresh longer when I place them in a jar of cold water, change the water every couple of days, like so. And I keep this in the fridge. Great, let's cut some. Let's get into it. Mm. There you have it, pea pesto baguette pizzas. And let me know if you make this. There's only one thing to do now, and that's to take a bite. This is too good. Herbie. You say herb, herb, herbie, herbie. Delicious. The oregano just coming in here lightly. The cheese is divine. You make this in less than half the time that it does to make pizza from scratch. Probably the same amount of time it does to order a takeaway. But here, we're using up ingredients that you probably have left over in your fridge, in your cupboard. I'm enjoying this. Mm. And I hope you do too. Comment, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down, down below if you make this. Here are my top tips for reducing bread waste. Croutons, here's an old loaf of bread. All you need to do is tear up the bread into pieces. It can be quite rustic, it can be small, it can be large. It's your loaf of bread, you decide how big you want your croutons to be. Drizzle with olive oil, a pinch of salt, black pepper. You can put any seasoning you like. If you want to add some smoked paprika, chili powder, dried oregano. Mix these all together. Give them a light squeeze. Make sure that everything is covered in our olive oil. Spread them out evenly. I like to face the inside of the bread facing up so they'll get nice and crispy and textured, whereas the underside will also go nice and brown and crunchy. Go one more time with a little bit of olive oil. Now let's whack this in the oven. Nice, golden, rustic croutons. Ooh. Breadcrumbs. So often, we're throwing away edible pieces of bread. Ends of breads, the middle slices of bread. Let's not waste any more bread. So here's another trick. Place the bread into a food processor, tear it up into pieces, and this is where you let the machine do the magic. So the next time you have some leftover pieces of bread, please make some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs on top of your macaroni, maybe your macaroni and cheese, the inside of a meatball as a filler, as a binder, top of mash, breadcrumbs on this, breadcrumbs on that. You let me know in the comments down below where you like to put your breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not gonna use your breadcrumbs right away, keep them in a reusable bag and freeze them. This is one of my personal favorites, one that I like to do. As soon as I have a loaf of bread, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat the whole entire loaf, is that I pre-slice my bread. Pre-slice bread, back in the bag it goes, and then you freeze it. You can take out a slice or two when you need it, pop it in the toaster, and you're good. All is not lost 
when your loaf of bread has passed its prime. Show your loaf some love. So there I have an old loaf of bread. All we need to do is run it under some water. Now you're thinking at this point, what is he doing? Don't worry, this is gonna work. Place your loaf of bread in the oven now. In a few minutes, it's going to revive itself and be new again. And just like that, your bread has come back to life. Oh yeah. You would have never known that this bread was past its prime. Back to life it is. There's nothing better than warm, crusty bread. A little bit of butter. Linguini and green olives with a crisp lemon and herb crumb. This recipe is a great way to use up those unloved bread crusts. Oil in a frying pan, add your breadcrumbs. I keep a store of breadcrumbs in my freezer, and if you don't have that, then blitz up some bread in a food processor. A pinch of salt and some black pepper. Toast your breadcrumbs until golden brown and crispy. Chop up some dill and zest some lemon. Set it aside. Cook your pasta in boiling salted water until al dente. Roughly chop your garlic, add a pinch of salt, using the back of the knife, work the garlic to a paste. Grab your parsley and basil and chop, including the stems. Take half the olives and slice in half. Add the olives to the bowl with half the capers. Then chop the remaining olives and capers finely. Squeeze the juice of one whole lemon, add a glug of olive oil, toss to combine, and season with salt and black pepper. Once the pasta is cooked al dente, add to the herbaceous pasta sauce. Add a couple tablespoons of the pasta water with a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I'm using a vegan one. Combine until everything is coated. Don't stop, don't stop. And then through stages, keep adding Parmesan cheese. Finally, add those crispy lemon and herb breadcrumbs. Bursting with big flavors of green olives and capers, this herbaceous green sauce is one to make. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my recipes and tips. Hopefully there was something there for you to take away. Subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share, make some of these recipes. I'll see you real soon.